Hi guys, it's Monica. So it is time for our Disney cooking video of the month. And let me tell you, it's going to be a hot one. Hot as those Arabian nights. See what I did there? So it is Aladdin, if you cannot tell from the title above. It is Aladdin. And that movie didn't have lots and lots of food in it. I kind of based um, the meal off of Aladdin stealing the um, loaf of bread and Abu stealing apples. You know, he was poor and he pretty much could eat anything that he could get his hands on. So I'm making a poor boy's bread. So it has got some uh, pepperoni, some salami, some different types of cheeses, some pepperoncinis, some onions. Uh, it is really good. It is super, super yummy. And for the dessert, I chose something just really sweet and simple. And it works great because it is summertime and everybody knows it is so hot down here in the south. So, if you guys want to see how to make this meal, then keep watching. Okay, for this recipe, you are going to need a loaf of Italian bread. You are going to need some pepperoni. Um, a couple of different types if you'd like a salami. I'm just going to use one because I'm not a very big fan of salami. You are going to need some mozzarella cheese, some provolone cheese, some mustard cheese. You can switch up the cheeses at any that you like. You are going to need some sliced pepperoncinis, some salt, some pepper, um, oregano leaves, onion powder, garlic powder, and some parsley flakes. And you feel free to add some thyme uh, in there as well. You are going to need some mayonnaise and a red onion. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with slicing our bread. I'm using a bread knife, which ha which has a real jagged edge. Um, if you do not have one of these, um, just use your regular knife. Just be very careful not to cut all the way through the bread. What we're going to do is we're going to stuff the bread. So we're going to make like little pockets, and um, we don't want to cut all the way through. We just we don't want to cut all the way through, we just want to go about halfway so we can stuff the cheese and the meats and the onions um, into each slice of bread and the bottom still stays intact so your bread is just not falling apart on you. So I put it on the pan that I'm going to go ahead and bake it on. So I'm going to start right here at the beginning. I'm going to go about halfway. So I'm going to go ahead and do the next slice about halfway. I'm doing at least about, I guess, inch, um, inch slices. I think it works better if you put it on the pan that you're going to be uh, building your, um, your loaf on. That way you don't have to worry about it falling apart on you or breaking apart or anything like that. Or the hassle of moving it. Might have to hold it a little bit. I should have set it on top of a towel. I did not. Okay. Almost done. This is a really quick, easy meal. I'm not sure if Aladdin had <laughs> uh, salami or anything like that. And this is more of like an Italian type meal. But uh, if you remember from the movie, you know, he was stealing him and the monkey. Abu. We're stealing loaves of bread and just stuff like that. Just basically whatever they could get their hands on. So when I thought of that movie, I instantly thought of him taking whatever he could find from the market off the streets and just kind of making one big meal out of it. And that's what I, I, the, I pictured was him just making um, kind of like a sandwich loaf. Because of course he had to put it in his bag and eat on it for several days. So, anyways, now that you have got uh, all of your slices, you might want to go and wash your hands and open all of your cheeses, and we're going to start working on uh, the mayo. Okay, now for the mayonnaise, what you're going to do is use about a cup. You can eyeball it. I'm just going to eyeball it here. I do a lot of eyeballing. You're going to use about a cup of mayonnaise, and you're going to use a teaspoon of uh, the ingredients. You can put it in a bigger bowl. I'm trying to keep clean up very easy and simple. You use about a teaspoon, like I said. Don't worry about it, get it on your counter. We can clean that up later. And we're going to use a little bit of salt, okay? Not very much, okay? I would, I'd put half a teaspoon of salt and about half a teaspoon of pepper. 
we're going to use a teaspoon of the brine from the pepperoncinis and dump it all over our counter. Don't worry about that. See? Clean up. Okay. So we're just going to kind of mash that together. You might want to get a bigger bowl. I always try to use these little teeny tiny bowls. So we're just kind of making some flavored mayo, really. But we're going to mix this up and we're going to spread it in between each of our slices of bread. And then we're going to start stuffing it. This mayo looks and smells good. This would be good for like a dipping sauce. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and dig out some of the pepperoncinis out of the jar here and put them with our onions. That way everything is just ready to go and we can just grab and stuff. Okay, so I'm taking the last little bit of mayo and putting it on the last little piece of bread. Just trying to use all of that up, just smearing it on both sides of the bread. And it ended up working out to be the perfect amount. Usually I either run short or um, have too much. Okay, so I've smeared it in each crevice, each slice of the bread. So now what I'm going to do is take some mozzarella cheese. Get this out of this bag here. I'm going to take a slice of that. Make sure the paper is not on it. You don't want that in there. And I'm going to stuff it down here into this first piece. I'm going to take a piece of this uh, pepperoni. And if you want to find these big slices, just look over there where all your meats are in your deli. I'm going to take a couple pieces of the purple onion, stuff that in there as well. Take some of those pepperoncinis, stuff those down in there. You can add more cheese, less cheese. And then I'm going to take some of the uh, Munster. I should have took all these cheeses out of the package. Here's I'm going to take some of the Munster and I'm going to stuff it in the next little crevice here. I'm going to put a piece of that salami in that one. And then I think just a few pepperoncinis in that one. And then the next one, I think we're going to take some provolone. I'm just alternating the cheeses. You guys can do it however you like, to be honest with you. I'm just changing it up just a little bit. You want to put a piece of that provolone, pepperoni, some of the pepperoncinis, the onion. See why I said it's just a little bit easier to do it on the pan that um, you know you're going to be baking it on? Because once you get all this stuff stuffed in there, you're not really going to want to move it. Okay. And then the next one, I think I'm going to go for like triple combo here. I'm going to try to stuff all the cheeses. Ooh, take that paper off. Don't want to cook that. Well, we might only get two. That's okay. Take some of that pepperoni there. Try to fit a piece of that salami in there. Some onion. Well, that was pepperoncini. Some onion and pepperoncinis in there. Okay. And then you want to go to the next piece. And so we're just going to keep doing that basically. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff the rest of this and then we're going to wrap it in foil and we're going to cook it in a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, when you're done stuffing it, it should look a little something like this. As you can see, I just have every little crevice stuffed full. <laughs> and I mean full. So full that I accidentally broke it in the middle there. But that's okay though. We're still going to eat it. Um, when it heats up and everything melts, it'll just kind of melt together. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it in a big piece of foil now. I got a big piece, so hopefully none of the toppings and stuff will stick to it. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up and bake it for 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, it is done baking. I know you can't really tell much of a difference, but hopefully you can kind of see some of the cheese melted out there. It looks really, really, really good. I cannot wait to eat. But that's what it looks like. So all I'm going to do now is just take my knife and go in between the slices to continue cutting the bread off very carefully. It may even just pull apart. So we're going to go um, the easy route and just dish it up onto our plates and just eat it as if you were eating a slice of pizza. Okay. 
Okay, and for dessert, you are going to need some apples, you're going to need some sugar, some cinnamon, and some vanilla ice cream. Also, if you'd like to add a topper, feel free. You can add caramel, chocolate, strawberry. It is totally up to you. I'm just going to go for the natural route, maybe with a little bit of cinnamon and sugar sprinkled right on top. Alright, so I've already done these four apples. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you real quick what I'm doing to them. I have a small knife. I am setting the apple down on the tray and holding it with my hands. I am very carefully going in sideways, kind of making a diamond shape. What we're trying to do is get the stem and as much of the core and seeds out as possible. So we're kind of going in, just like I said, a little diamond shape here. Take that off. If you can't get the stem off, don't worry, we're going to scrape this out. Just keep twisting it. Take your butter knife and I'm digging into the apple, just the middle of it, because I want to get down there to where the core is and where the seeds are, because you don't want to eat the seeds and you don't want to cover that up with, you know, cinnamon, sugar, and the ice cream. So I'm just kind of hollowing out the middle a little bit. I have a butter knife for this. This works far better than if you were trying to use a spoon. The spoon is just too big for this. So we're just scraping out everything that we don't want to eat, basically, and just making room for our ice cream to fit. So, just scraping that out. I'm down to the bottom. We don't want to go through to the bottom here. We just want to make a bowl. So once you have done that, you're just going to take your sugar and cinnamon, however much you want. There's no right or wrong amount. I'm just going to sprinkle it in there like that. Maybe a little bit more. And then I've been taking my hand just like this and rolling it around in a ball so it coats the sides. Dump it back in to make sure all the sides are nice and coated. And if there's not too much left, I just leave it back in there. So it should look like that. So I'm going to take all of the apple um, center and cores and I'm going to throw those in the trash. And I'm going to pop our apple bowls into the oven in a 385 degree oven. Um, just until they start to kind of soften up a little bit, give a little bit um, time, give a little bit of time for the apple to soften and kind of get that cinnamon and sugar flavor uh, really married into it. And then when they're done, we're going to pop them out and let them sit for just a few minutes. But I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and pop them in. Our apples are done. They're nice and soft. I let them sit cool just for a couple of minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of spoonfuls, just as much that will fit, into the apples here. Don't worry about the juice uh, coming out. The natural juice is coming out. That's just natural juice from the apple. So we just put some ice cream on top of there, however much you'd like. Like I said, you can garnish it with whatever you like. I'm just going to use a little bit of the leftover cinnamon and sugar put on top there. And there it is. That is it. Grab a fork and you just scrape out the inside and eat it with the ice cream. It's almost like an apple pie. But that is it. And how hot was that? <laughs> it was really super easy. Are you guys surprised how easy that was? I'm kind of surprised myself how easy it was. But even though it is a take on a uh, Italian um, deli sandwich, it's still really good and I mean who knows what kind of meats they had there you know where Aladdin was I I gather that he just could whatever he could get his hands on he would eat so he may have had many different cheeses he may have had many different meats you know vegetables I'm not sure but anyways I hope you guys really enjoyed this video don't forget to like and thumbs up and leave me your comments below and if you haven't subscribed please do feel free to check out my daily vlogs um, also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, I have an email, I have snail mail, and I think that is it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!